and the multi-step inequality example videos continue. Here, I'm just gonna punch it into Desmos and just see what's hap see what's happening. I'm gonna even try V. Let's see if V even works. Desmos is always updating. They might they might have figured this one out for us. V's not working, so I gotta change the X, which is which is fine. I I can do that. <laughs> it's a couple backspaces away. And so now you see this graph and you see the shade. And what this is saying is, hey, all these numbers over here that are shaded, 2, 6, 10, all the way, you know, zooming out, zooming out, all these numbers, these huge numbers, they're getting large, large and in charge. All these numbers in this shaded area are solutions to this inequality. And the numbers that aren't, these, these numbers over here on the left, these are numbers that are not solutions, okay? And so we want to solve this. We know that that's the value that we're starting with. That's going to be what we solve for. We're going to solve for that number right now, negative 1.67. So let's go ahead and punt. let's go ahead and start this party start. Let's get this party started. I'm going to sh I'm going to show you how to solve with Desmos. Let's see if we can solve with Desmos. I'm not going to write anything out. So I'm just going to recopy it. See how it just shaded right over it because it's the same. That makes sense, right? Okay. So I'm looking at this equation, and I got variables on both sides. I want to choose one side to keep the variable on, one side to eliminate it. So I'm going to keep it on the, the left side, and I'm going to eliminate it on the right. So I'm going to subtract 8x to both sides. So minus 8x, boom, and I'm going to do minus 8x. Let's see if it's still shaded. <laughs> see how it's still perfectly shaded? I subtracted the 8x there and the 8x on the other side. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that we can see it better. Okay, so we've got to now do the math, right? So those are going to zero out. Right here, we got negative 42 minus 8. That's negative 50. So essentially, these combine to negative 50. So we got negative 50x plus 33 is less than or equal to. And 8x minus 8x, that's zero, guys. Let's not even write it. Okay, you don't believe me. Okay, okay. Guys, come on. Okay, that's zero. So what do we have left over here? 91, just 91, what happens? Oh my gosh, the shade matches up. You see that? That black shade is perfect. I've done, I know I'm doing the work right because it's matching up perfectly with that shade right now. Okay, cool. All right, now we got two numbers on our variable side. Let's deal with these numbers. It's easier to get rid of things that are being added and subtracted first. So let's get rid of this number that's being added. We'll deal with the multiplication later. How do we get rid of addition? We subtract. What do we subtract by? What we want to eliminate. See how it's off now? It's off. It's not shaded perfectly. It's because I've only subtracted to the left side. Let me subtract to the right side. Let me get it back on track. Bang! We're back on track. Now let's do the math. We know those zero out. 91 minus 33? I don't know, guys. Let me check it. Is 58. So now I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite this inequality now. So we got on this right, on this left side, those zeroed out. So we just got negative 50x is greater than. 58 let's see if it matches up boom and we're matching up and we're matching up guys we're matching up now we gotta get rid of this negative 50 guys it's being multiplied let's just divide so we got negative 50 divided by negative 50 is 1 1 times x is just x is less than or equal to 58 divided by negative 50 whoa 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 and now the shades up over here and that's because there's a special rule when you divide by a negative number, you got to change the direction of this inequality sign. So watch what happens, guys. We divided by this negative number to both sides. I got to switch this sign. I got to point it the other way. Let me do that. Boom. And now we're back on track. And I want to know if I can f if I can simplify 50 divided by negative 58. 58 divided by negative 50. Negative 1.6. That's that number I was talking about. That was that number I was talking about. What's that simplify do? Negative 29 over... 25. All right, let me punch it in. V is greater than negative 29 over 25. Con con. And that's how you do it with Desi. I love that you can see that your steps are right or wrong. That's fun. Good luck.